Hey everyone, Jessica here with Bloom United. I am an independent mascara artist and I am here to talk to you today about what's in your makeup. You see all these like crazy names and you're like, what are they? What does it mean? What does it do? Is it safe for me to use? Because who knows what you're putting on your skin half the time because we're not educated on, unless you're a scientist, um, or you like spend a lot of time doing research as to what exactly is in your makeup that you're putting on your skin. I am a very health conscious person. I have severe allergies, um, topical, environmental, food. Um, so what I put on my face is really important to me. And it's important for me as an allergist, somebody who suffers from allergies, that everybody else knows what they're putting on their skin so they don't have a reaction to this. So we're gonna go over the Cost DNA. Um, Cost DNA is a website where you can submit your um, any products that you would like to know any information about, and they do it on a rating scale for safety. Um, so we're gonna talk about the basic ingredients for mascara, what they put in it, what it's for, what it means, and even how to pronounce them, because my God, some of them are very difficult to pronounce. Okay, so Mascara Beauty, um, these are, as a whole, for mascara, it has been fully evaluated that these are low hazard, safe, and gentle for the skin. It is a cruelty-free product, it's a paraben-free product, and it is a gluten-free product. Because friends, I am highly allergic to wheat. I am very, very allergic to wheat, and I need a gluten-free product. So I've been using this product for over a year. Um, my skin has cleared up. It is so light and gentle on my face, um, and it's because of the ingredients that we're about to go over here. And trust me, I would not be using it if I didn't feel like this product was safe for me. Um, so mascara is a big advocate on using terminology that is 100% evaluated and studied before using the terminology. So crazy enough, terms like non-toxic, hypoallergenic, non-comedonic, which means that um, non-comedonic means that like it won't clog the pores, um, oil-free, all natural, organic, and mineral-free. Believe it or not, these are all terms in the beauty industry that are unregulated. I could make anything and put all of those terms on it and it would sell because those are the terms that people are looking for, but they're not regulated. So mascara refuses to use those terms, which I love. I love that they are, because those terms are what bring us to products, right? They're like, oh, it's organic, gotta have it, but it might not be, because they don't have to have it tested, they don't have to have it third party tested to use that term, and that just blows my mind. Or they might have one ingredient in it, that's organic, and that's it. Like, blows my mind. So, while knowing that, Mascara uses extremely high quality ingredients um, and they just don't feel comfortable using those terms since they're not regulated. So jumping in, common mascara ingredients and what they are. The first one, liquid paraffin. You're going to see this on a ton of your everyday ingredients. You just heard my air go off. So now I feel like I'm yelling at you. <laughs> Liquid paraffin, um, this is a really highly refined mineral oil, um, and it creates a protective layer between the makeup and your skin, so it locks in hydration. The next one, petroleum. So this is a rich emollient. Emollient means that it, it's, um, it's a softener, it smooths. That's like the terminology for what emollient means. There is a bright sunlight right there. <laughs> um, and uh, petroleum is an FDA approved skincare protectant. Um, and it is one of the best ingredients you can use for um, people who have dried, very dry skin, um, including around the eyes. It's that safe that you can put it around your eyes. Now, this is derived from crude oil, but which makes it a natural product because not crude oil is a natural product to our earth, um, but it is highly purified before it's being used in cosmetics. It has to be. That is regulated. That petroleum has to be highly purified before it can be put into it. So there's no um, risk of unwanted chemicals in, uh, in your petroleum that's going into your makeup. The next one, here's a fun word, ozo. 
ozokirite. Ozokirite wax. Uh, so in other terms, ozokirite means earth wax. Don't know why they don't just call it earth wax. It would make a whole heck of a lot more sense. And it is a natural occurring mineral wax that mascara uses to hold their material together. Um, the next one, beeswax. This is the ingredient that makes um, mascara makeup non-vegan. Um, but with that in mind, beeswax has highly healing properties in it. It's an anti-inflammatory, um, and it also encourages the healings of wounds. So if you have a cut on your face, it protects it, and it actually starts to help heal that with that healing process. Um, it is also a protective barrier between your skin and the environment without clogging pores. Um, and beeswax is high in vitamin A, which we all know is very important in anti-aging. And it's an antibacterial properties to it, which is just like, my gosh, what else does it not have? Um, so back, bees, beeswax is a very like amazing component to it. So I feel bad for those who are vegan. Um, I'm basically vegetarian uh, because I'm allergic to dairy and egg, but I still eat meat. So that's always a confusing part for people. I don't need to say that. You don't need to show that. Anyways, the next one, another difficult word, uh, cetyl esters, which means synthetic wax. That is it. Um, and it has very similar uh, composition to chemical properties of a natural wax, but natural waxes unfortunately come from blubbers of whales. And how do we get that? We know the answer to that. And we don't want to talk about that. So that is why they are using a synthetic ingredient for their wax as a component to hold everything together. Um, so cetyl esters, synthetic wax, um, to protect our baby whales. The next one is lanolin. If anybody's a mama, <laughs> You have used a lot of lanolin in your life uh, to protect those lovely little nipples from breastfeeding. Um, lanolin is a um, substance that's found in sheep's wool. Um, so it is a natural ing ingredient and it falls into the lipid rich emollient class. Emollient again means uh, it smooths and moisturizes and um, uh, what's the other word I'm looking for? Smooths and softens. Yes. Um, oh, too far. My notes are right below me. Um, so yeah, it falls into the lipid-rich emollient class of moisturizers. Um, so actually one of the reasons why people have dry skin is lack of lipids in their skin, which allows water to escape from your face. So lanolin fills in those gaps and um, protects from future water from escaping from your face. So lanolin is a great important key if you have dry skin. It also just keeps your face hydrated and moisturized all day long. Um, the next one is zinc stearate, which means zinc soap. Why we have to say stearate instead of soap, I will not know. But zinc stearate is known for repelling water, um, and it's used across the field and most makeup um, just to keep your face from when you cry, when you sweat, from running down your face, right? So that is the ingredient in your makeup, keeping your makeup on for most of the day when you're sweating or you're oily and stuff like that keeps it from doing that. Um, zinc serate is also um, in the industries as a lubricant. So keeping hydrated and moisturized all day long. The next one, another fun word, Phoenix Cyathenol. Zenic, Phoenix Cyathenol. Phoenix Cyathenol. Phoenix Cyathenol. Phoenix Cyathenol. Why? 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 These stupid words. And you know what it means? All it means is it's antibacterial. That's it. Which is fantastic because when you're using your makeup, if you have anything on your face, so bacteria is what helps uh, create those lovely pimples on your face, right? That's what creates bacteria, creates breaking out. So it helps your skin from breaking out with Phoenix Cyathenol, <laughs> an antibacterial ingredient. Um, two more friends, three more. Um, iron oxides. Uh, so these are also a natural occurring mineral in the makeup, and they are safe, gentle, non-toxic um, on the surface of the skin. So they're just minerals to hold 
your ingredients together. Titanium dioxide. Um, this is an earth mineral, um, and it is used as a thickening, uh, whitening, lubricating, sunscreen. Can you believe it? It's for sunscreen, too. Um, ingredient in cosmetics. Um, so it protects your skin from UVA rays, UVB. Um, radiation is considered no risk and is sensitive to all skin types. Um, so titanium dioxide. Used for thickening and whitening and lubricating and protecting your skin from the this the sun right here. I don't want to just like move my camera and then it's fine. Uh, the last one is ultramarines. Um, ultramarines are a synthetic pigment used to give certain colors to cosmetics. So all of these beautiful colors that you're seeing in here, which the sun is shining, whoops, there it is, um, are ultramarines, are what's giving us that pigmentation in this. So while I have this out, I'm just going to turn over this way so I'm not quite as much in the sun. There we go. Uh, this is this is mascara. Everything comes in one beautiful compact in magnetic tins that pop into this case. Each tin is $14. Um, some are 12, some are 16, um, but they're all different materials that change that price. Um, all of your makeup, it declutters, de-stresses, and puts all of your makeup in one amazing compact. So now that you know all this information, if you would like to get color matched, if you want more information, or if you want like a physical breakdown, um, like on a sheet of paper that says what the ingredients are, um, if you go to uh, mascarabeauty.com and their FAQ section, they have all of their ingredients listed um, by color, by product. It is extremely detailed and nobody is hiding anything. Um, it is an extremely safe product. Uh, everything in the rating scale is like a one to a three, I think. Um, so you should feel safe and comfortable using it. I am a mother of two. I would not be using it if I also did not feel safe and confident in this product. I would not be an artist promoting and pushing this makeup if it didn't make a difference in my life streamline my mornings, make things better and easy for me, and it was safe to use. So you can trust it for my mom too. This is a safe product. So if you have any questions or if you want to be color matched, you can go to my website at teambloomunited.com and I will be happy to answer and to color match any questions that you have. Thank you all so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and tell me below what you think. If you have any extra questions or if you have just some more information that you'd love people to know about Mascara Beauty, you can hop down, down there and put your little jazz in there. All right, see you all. Thank you.